Hello fabulous humans, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then well, hello. How you doing? Welcome. You have just slipped and slotted into the most fabulous place on YouTube and I am so happy to have you here. And now that I have you here, I'm just gonna give you only five seconds to go do what you do. Subscribe to the channel, become part of the Glitter and Glam Squad so we can shine together. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you always be notified when I upload a new video. And while you're at it, hit the thumbs up button so little old me, so YouTube can know that me, little old me, I need to shine bright like a diamond in this YouTube streets, okay? And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. You know how we cut it up, you know how we do. We just wanna be lavish all the time. Thank you for coming back, I truly appreciate you. Now, I just shot a video celebrating what, 1K, and I'm like, what? <laughs> you go ahead, like crazy. But in the video, I did, um, talk about a fragrance that I added to my collection and it just hit me like, wait, I should do a comparison video. So I finished that video and I'm like, let me just do a comparison video. So I'm still in my ruffles and I'm like, yeah, let's get to it. Let's just get right into it and talk about these two fragrances that I own. Well, one of them is my husband's because when I got the Panadora um, Sweden, he took this one and, um, I was feeling away, but I finally got um, the Roja version. So I'm just going to dive in and tell you all about it, which is um, Roja Dove's Sweetie Aoud. That's the box. And this is Panadora Sweden 16. So if you want to know which one you need to get, then stick around. So let's start with the OG, which is Roja Dove's Sweetie Aoud. So this launched in 2015, and um, it retails for $550 on the Roja website for 50 ml. There's not 100 ml available. I think there's like a 10 ml or 7, no, 7 ml, and then there's like a sample size, I think. So no 100 ml, just a 50 ml, and it's $555. Raja, you know Raja, Raja with the prices, okay? Anyways, let's open it up. With this, you can find this with discounters. Shout out to Joma, shout out to Fragrance Net. You know, you, you can get a good deal on it. So this is how it opens up. See when it comes to Raja. Raja knows how to make you feel special, okay? Opening this up and how it looks, it's like, oh Jesus, this is given. This is showing $555. It's laying in the bed. It's giving casket ready, so um, it better be to die for, okay? But 50 ml here, and we're going to spray it here. But before then, let's get into the notes for Sweetie Aoud. So top notes, you get Atmesia, you get Bergamot. The middle notes, you get May Rose, Gomorn Accord. I think that that's where they, they put something that they don't want us to know. And Sisters in Canoes. Okay. <laughs> I do not know what that is. The base notes we get in. Are you ready? You know how Roger is with the base notes. They put everything in there. We get Oud, Cardamom, Balsam, Olibanum, Frankincense, Amaris, Labdanum, Spanish Labdanum, Juniper, Gaiac Wood, Cedar, Cedar Wood, Patchouli, Cumin, Cipriol Oil. <sighs> That's what we get in here. And now let us spray Sweetie Aoud. This is the infamous Sweetie Aoud. Oh, the atomizer is great. I was waiting for it to get to me. And then it got to me. It's so soft. It's so beautiful. And then it's smoky. There's like this smokiness, but then it's sweet like gourmand. There's this sweet accord. I don't know anything about this bergamot stuff in here, but it's like going straight into the heart right here now. 
that initial burst you get that bergamot and then you i still get that gourmand accord with the rose and then the oud the cardamom the all the olibanum labdanum everything just starts to come and then it gets smoky it's like a dessert but a smoky dessert this is like this is good stuff but it is very unique as well it's not a gourmand that you can just lick and nibble on no this is a very very sophisticated dark twisted take on a gourmand let's get into the next one right now we have smelt sweetia wood we know what they do and we're gonna we're, we're gonna get into the next fragrance which is panadora sweden and this is called 16. I don't hear a lot of people talk about Panadora Sweden. Um, I like to feel like I'm like one of the only people to talk about it. I own um, Imperia Wood, which I'm excited to bring out in the fall because that's when it will shine through. And this one, when I got it in Europe, my husband grabbed this one. And I'm like, wow. He wanted the Imperial Wood, so I'm like, because you want that one, I want it. And then he's like, okay, I want this one, actually. I'm like, why? <laughs> now I want this one. But this is how it looks. This is 16, and you can see the dent. The dent is, you know, there's a dent in there. It's giving shoulder. And the bottle with Panadora Sweden gets me. I just like that it's unique. It's Pentaligon-esque, but this is just everything. I actually prefer theirs to the Pentaligon's one but the i think it's the tragedy of lord judge but i prefer this one this is just everything the bottle everything it's it's a weapon now with this one oh let's talk about the price before we get into it so this one retails for 320 dollars for 100 ml so already they're telling you roger is giving you 550 for 50 555 for 50 ml they're giving you three 20 for 100 ml so they're like listen you come over here um it's cheaper you, so come here i think that that's what it's given already and then for the top notes this is where it gets interesting the top notes you get atmesia and bagamot the top notes for suitia Ud, you get atmesia and bagamot the middle notes for 16 they put green notes I think that they did that <laughs> to just throw us off. I think that that's the green note is what exactly we do not know, but I think that that's where they put that gourmand accord. They threw it in there because now the base note for this, you get labdanum, um, cyprius, escalentus, <laughs> they're playing with me, caraway, guyacwood, olibanum, patchouli, and juniper. Sweetia, would you get oud? cardamom let's see if you you can pick this up now balsam olibanum frankincense amaris you get labdanum juniper gaiac wood cedar you get patchouli cypria oil and cumin are you seeing there's labdanum i'm seeing some cypria stuff there's gaiac wood olibanum and patchouli with juniper in here so right out the bat it's given same thing so now let's spray it and see what they do very nice automizer very nice automizer oh so my nails oh oh yes <laughs> it is the same thing okay smells the same to be honest but i would say this when I sprayed the Raja and I sprayed this, I felt like this one had more of a, more of a sillage. That's 16 slightly. The Raja was a little bit cozy. Now, this has gone straight woodiness. Like, this is given by the fireplace woods. Like, the way by the fireplace is where you feel like you're by the fireplace. It's like a dessert and you're like in winter. This is still given right now the Artemisia bergamot phase. So, this is the intro. But when I tell you, this is now smoky. So maybe I need to spray um, that one, spray Suitia Oud fresh so we can get the top notes again.
the same thing. The same thing. This is a card, a restaurant card. Let's see, it's the same thing. It smells very similar. It's it's. Is this a dupe for Suitia Oud? Absolutely. This is like ninety eight percent. The only thing I will tell you is, if you love the top notes that Suitia Oud gives, but you don't like when it dries down and it gets too smoky, then sixteen is the one to go because. 16 lingers with the top notes more like this is already getting smoky so this doesn't get as smoky so i want to say 95 97 percent dupe is not 95 because this doesn't get as smoky as the suitia oud this is smokier and this is still giving you that top note so if you love the top notes from suitia oud a lot of people do a lot of people can take the smokiness then 16 by panadora is the way to go oh, okay this is gonna give you that top notes you love from suidia oud and just keep going now the million dollar question is which one should you buy do you need do you need um one or you need both to be honest i'm gonna tell you the truth you do not need both they are so close that you do not need both you don't need both right out the bat they're Pretty much the same thing <laughs> to be honest so you do not need both of them in your collection now this one my husband uses it so i needed one in my collection that's why i have both and um sometimes i wish that i kept this and gave him maybe the imperial wood because that's more woody and i can use this but now that i have the sweetie wood, now nah, i don't need both he can keep it <laughs> but it's the same thing. You do not need both. Now for the price point, this one you get 100 ml for 320, right? 320. And this one is 50 ml for 555. So right out of the bat, you are saving money by getting um 16 by Panadora. But if you're like me and you're a fan of Roger Dove and you just want to get like the real deal, then this Suitia Oud is the way to go because from smelling it here, the smokiness and the woodiness of of Suitia Oud feels more potent than um, 16. 16 has more of the upbeat, the um, top notes and the middle notes. And the bass is where it's at for um, Suitia Oud. If Suitia Oud is too um, pricey and out of the ballpark for 555 or you know, with discounters, you can see this um, cheaper. But if it's too expensive for you, then I think that um, 16 by Panadora is the way to go. Now, with this, you cannot find this with discounters. It's hard to find this at any discounter. So if you're picking this up, you're paying full price. With this, you can find it with discounters. And if you're lucky, you may be able to find it slightly cheaper than this. Now, if you're able to find this for 320 I would want to go with the Roja because I love that smoky accord because I'm like that. I love the deep, dark stuff. So I want it in the fall and winter when it's cold and I want to smell that smoke and the dessert. But if you can't find this on a great deal, I think that this is such a great, I don't want to call it a dupe, but this is a great alternative to Suitia Oud because they smell similar. They're very close. They're almost the same thing. And this bottle, you're getting luxury, you're getting niche, you're getting everything. So I do like the um, 16, I think it's the same thing. So if you want to save coins, you should go for 16 by Panadora, 100 ml, 320. This, if you just, if you're a fan of Roja, you want to get the OG, you know, you just want a Roja Dove in your collection, you should go with Suitia Oud. And if you're able to find this with discounters, I think that you should grab this. This is exquisite, but you have to like deep, dark, smoky stuff. But those are my thoughts, y'all. They're pretty much the same fragrance, to be honest similar notes same thing it's all about preference the brand you want if you want to save coin you get 16 if you don't mind to splurge you get your roja but same thing tomato tomato they are pretty much spot on they're the same fragrance you do not need both in your collection but yes y'all yeah, like i always say in all things oh, smoke yes with the dessert add glitter in all things, add glitter. 
whenever you're in doubt, add more glitter. And when all else fails, your back is against the ropes. You do not need both of them in your collection. Just one of them is enough. They're very similar. When all else fails, just pick either or and you will be good. But whatever your pocket says, whatever you're able to find. But if you're able to get this, I suggest you grab one of them because they're, it's actually great fragrance. Like they're both amazing fragrances. So when all else fails, do not buy both of them. Buy one of these fragrances and you'll be ready for fall and winter. This is winter, okay? So add more glitter. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another video.